Hi everyone, just a quick uh, mention of my book before the vid today's video starts. Watercolour Painting Made Simple by myself, Stephen Cronin. Available on Amazon, um, hardback, softback, Kindle. Um, so that's on Amazon. Details in the description below. So let me show you today's video. Hi everyone, thanks for joining me again. I'm in portrait mode today for this um, simple composition. I took this from a photograph when I was in the Lake District. This is Allswater. Um, sort of right up, right up the side. You made it Allswater. You just look down, down there was the, was the view. So let me show you the, the photograph I used for this one. So it's a very simple composition sort of dominated by this sort of dead tree but very much silhouetted against that light light sky in the background so let me show you the colours I've used so as always I've got ultramarine, lemon yellow, Payne's grey, lizard and crimson, raw sienna, burnt umber, light red and most 99% of the painting done with a large egg brush and it's got a couple of rigger brushes there, number three and a, and a zero or a one, wherever that one is. Um, so let's let's crack on with the painting. Not too much water this time, just to, just enough to give a light lubrication of the paper. And then I'm just going to go with a very faint <clears throat> touch of water here, and mainly ultramarine. Just, I can just see a hint of something in the distance, just a hint, so just up there somewhere, just that's all I'm going to do for that. I think and in front of it, it's a little bit stronger, a bit more raw sienna, a bit more ultramarine. Just the start. Of some trees. Burnt on the net as well. A bit of a bigger work after this in a minute. Just trying to bear it slightly as I'm coming down. Let's give him, just defining what the edge of this lens could have been like, something like that. Cleaning the brush, and just yeah, like the tones are now up there, very very light. I painted over what like just about to that little bit of land in the distance. to the rigger brush. Not too much water. I've just got a little just a few things. Little twigs and branches and things growing. A little bit stronger there. I'm 
Now as that's dried a little bit, going a little bit stronger now. Stay with the rigger brush, brown, blue. And this time we've got Just see if I can soften them off in a minute. Just give them a little burst. Okay. I'm just going to clean this brush, get all that water out of it. Stronger down the bottom. Now a little bit stronger. I'll well, see that for a sec. Now on this right hand side, we've got a. This is the strongest tone in the whole painting. It's like a, a treat. It's like dead, it's been cut off. We'll come back to that in a bit when it's when it's all dry. Just make it a little bit darker. For now, make sure this is flat. Let's refix these clips. Right, now, I mean, let's just dry this first. Sure, what the correct term is, just bleaching it out, whatever, just experimenting with it. I'll come back to that in a bit. Right then, let's get some of this foreground in. So, I'm going to start off with some nice lemon yellow. Quick 
clean. A bit of light red, a bit of burnt umber. Ultramarine there as well. Ultramarine. These areas, I'll probably come over back over them again in a minute. And that's a bit drier. You can also arrange to darken these areas slightly. Using the card just to scrape it. Really right, back to the rigor brush, bit of brown, bit of blue. Just want to strengthen that big tree there. A bit darker just to emphasize that light a bit better. A bit of brown, a bit of blue, and a strong mix. Well, it's a bit more yellow in the in the ground, so just neat lemon yellow. That's some lighter areas. And here, just up there like that. Little up there. to break it up a little bit. And what I'll do is just squeeze a bit of neat paint out. Just try and get a bit, of, a bit of texture in there. Squeeze the neat right.
Sort of bit down there. Sort of be up the top. I'll probably put a few shadows in after this then. Yes. Well, let's make sure this paper's flat. Oh, I'll think about the shadows. A few darker sections first. I don't want too much water, I'm just giving burnt umber, a bit of ultramarine. Darks down there. Let's try a bit of paint growing there as well. Scrape that rock out again. Apply some of these yellow. <clears throat> I'm just trying to find contrast of lights and darks. Sometimes I'll just play around with it a bit, bit too much. So a few more. Get a few shadows in there. So shadow colour, I'm gonna mix a bit of brown, a bit of red, a bit of blue. I'm looking for a sort of bluey, bluey grey colour. So I got those mixed together. Let's start with the tree. There's a shadow coming. No, oh, it's darkening a little bit. This one I can't see. I have to sort of make this one up. It's sort of up and down, up and down. I'm sort of making these ones up now as I go along. I'm just <coughs> probably exaggerating the effect a little bit. Um, it's just need a little bit 
all defined. And there's a few things down there I'm going to put in. What I can see, there's a few things from out of shot going across the top. Got a quick dry. There's no figure in the in the photograph, but I think I think I'm going to put one in. Let's take a bit of red, bit of blue. I'm going to stick in somewhere about there, I think. And she's a little, little dark there at the bottom. And I'm going to stick little shadows coming off them. I think I'm going to call that one done, I think. I'm just going to stick a little bird. A little bird up there. Well, that will finish. So back to the number three rigger. I'm just going to stick my name. Just going to stick my name down here and call that one done. So let's stick a, a name on it and see what it looks like. So here's the finished paints in the mount. So if we look at the photograph. Kept all the elements pretty pretty much in the same place. I haven't really changed a fat lot. The background's probably a little bit more abstract than in the photograph. I just wanted to make sure it was faint, um, very light, just so I could get the maximum contrast from this. Not so much that one, but this this was a sort of main focal point. This big sort of I don't know, I'm assuming it's like a dead tree silhouetted against that light background. And then the foreground it divided up pretty much into two sections we've got the grass which we have, we've got sort of variations on the lean mixed in for variation bits of neat lemon yellow as well it's dotted about and then we've got the sort of dark areas um well i had to do two or three attempts just to get them nice and dark yeah i've sort of scraped you know i've managed to be Restrain myself with the rocks, kept them nice and subtle. A few little grasses here and there scraped in, a few more with the rigger. And then we got our little man there with his dog just walking up the hill. So that's it for that one. I hope you enjoy that. Um, thanks for watching. I hope you can uh, paint along with me. So if you've got any questions, please ask. Um, keep practicing. Um, and I'll see you again soon.